Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last episode we got the super boots, so we can do this now, which is pretty cool. And that also means we do two damage per jump attack rather than one, which is amazing. Uh, and we made our way a bit further through the Great Vocally Tree. Uh, we should be nearing the end now, I believe. You can see that over here we've got a healing and a save, which suggests that we're very close to a boss battle. Uh, I think... I can't super remember what the boss is here. Well, that's, that's Lord Crump. Hmm, let me see. That thing's gotta be around here somewheres. Uh-huh. What's that? Whoa, sounds like a mob. Better clear out. I should get Goombella out so we can tattle on the room. This must be the lowest chamber. Saying it's solemn here is an understatement. Under these statues' glares, I feel like the Puny's ancestors are watching us. I should tell in the previous room as well, I forgot to. We've come down pretty far. The air is a bit colder here, don't you think? The technology used here is pretty insane too. Wish I had more time to inspect it. Okay, well, I think it's pretty obvious what we're supposed to do in here. <laughs> hey, punies, get together. Get together. Come on. Go this way. A second crystal star. Wow, Mario, check it out! The Crystal Star! Score! Hey, you! I see you, jerk! Mario, it's that weasel! Bah, bah, bah! Man, am I lucky or what? Or am I just good? Oh, you say you need a Crystal Star, Lord Crump? Boom! Falls right in my lap. Still, this is humiliating. You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. So, for insulting my awesome trap, I'm gonna repay you with a little present. Know what it is? Oh, just a little something I like to call a remote time bomb detonator! I'm gonna use this to bury you and those squirmy punies in rubble. Sound fun? Well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dank old tree, and with that, POW! I'm gone. Yeah, that timer is actually, like, a game over timer if we don't get out in time. This is so not cool. We gotta be out of here right now. Bring the peonies with us. Yeah. <laughs> and it is constantly ticking, even in battles and stuff. We have to go real quick. I should have hit the back one so they couldn't use the fire flower, but it should be okay. Okay, so that's the happy heart effect. It's like one HP every turn, maybe? I'm not really sure. Okay, so we just want to try to get out of here as fast as possible, basically. Uh, this is the shop. <laughs> I lost track of the direction we were going, unfortunately. I think we have plenty of time to do this, do everything we need to do, even if we make a couple mistakes, so you don't have to worry too much, but... It is, uh, a little intimidating, I suppose. You want to keep moving. It's probably the important thing. <laughs> I think we need to bring the punies with us, but I don't really remember why. 
Uh, this battle. Did I get over here? I can't remember. Are we able to just leave them and keep going? We're gonna show off the bomb anyway if we succeed, so it should be okay if we don't have them, I think. Actually, it might be bad, I don't remember. So let's, let's, let's just get them and make sure. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, they're in the right spot, so if we just uh, give them a little bit of a push, they should get over there. Perfect. Okay, let's go. I think you might, like, get a better item if you actually bring all the peonies out or something like that. Like, they don't die, but you get rewarded better. If I recall correctly. You won't be going any farther this away. What? Are you nuts? Move it, you old geezer. What? Did you just call me an old geezer? Why do you get off talking like that? You got no respect, brat. Don't think my age is a thing to do with my might. Even if it kills me, I won't let you through. I'm ready. Elder power, act! Activate. Whoa, what's your problem, Grandma? You got an air ear ticking in the brain or what? Oh, oh, what the ouch! Can't take another step. Ugh. Ugh. What a time for my stupid back to start acting up. You hot at it, old coot. You dare defy me? I could shine my boots with you. Hmm, <clears throat> you'll do no such thing. Honestly, do you really think we'd let a wretch like you escape? I do believe you'll be handing over that crystal star and promptly exiting this tree. Bah, bah, bah. You guys are nuts, you know that? Oh well, I guess I better shut off this timer. Yeah, if you don't make it before the timer runs out, you do in fact get a game over. <laughs> um, but yeah, he shuts off the timer when you get to him. So it's not actually a huge problem. Okay, you pests. One pummeling coming up with extra fists. Metal fists, that is. I probably want to switch to Coops or Gumbella. <laughs> Awake, Magnus von Grappel. Time for a technological thrashing. Enjoy. He's very Robotnik, this character. <laughs> yeah, we want, we want Gumbella out so we can tattle. Um... Are you crying yet? Yeah? Sorry, but this thing isn't armed with tissues. Well, Magnus von Grapple has that effect on people. Total weeping terror. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out the power on this bad boy. Mercy me, that Metal Colossus is incredible. And yet, there's something rather odd about it. Let's just keep our eyes peeled. Don't be careless. Can't flee this fight. Okay, we're gonna immediately switch because we want Goombella so that we can tattle on Magnus One Grapple. Oh, that's Magnus One Grapple. It's a giant robot built by the x -Nauts. Lord Crump drives it. Max HP is 30, attack is 2, and defense is 1. Its most effective attack is one that takes advantage of its size, a smothering stomp. It can also shoot out its fists, which are these super gnarly rocket punches. Its fists have max HP of 2, an attack of 4, and defense of 0. Its fists are super powerful, so it doesn't knock them down fast. The thing about this robot is, I kind of thought it looks cool, or really, really stupid. Here it comes, suckers. Magnus von Punish. Ow. I mean, it was only 2 damage, it's not a big deal, but... Especially because that's gonna happen. Uh... We probably want to do, like, a spin jump? Yeah, Magnus One Gravel has defense, I believe. I think I just read that out, but I didn't listen to what I was reading. <laughs> so we may need something that hits a bit harder than Goombella's head bonk.
to block that once yet. <laughs> Power smash. Yeah, Cukes has a base damage of two, so he, he pierces one defense automatically, essentially. Oh, it ain't over yet. This is so awesome. Check out what else this guy can do. You're gonna love it. This might not work out too well for you. Oh right, Rocket Fists. Cool. <laughs> uh, let's do a bit of a multi-bounce and see how we go. That went really well, actually. <laughs> Goodbye, Fists. Ow. I could use a sweet treat. Mm. Oh, hey, he has fists again. Oh, hey, he launched his fists again. <laughs> uh, okay. Ah, damn it. That's not good. That's not like it. Oh, nice. They did one damage, but it was still cool. And Flurry can float, so she'll be immune to that ground shaking attack as well. I think. It's been a while since I've had to actually fight Magnus 1 Grapple. I can't remember all of this. Items. Yeah, she's not damaged by the attack at all. That's helpful. Okay, he's doing the fist thingy again. Here they go. Multi bounce. <laughs> no more fists for you. I have no idea how to block that. <laughs> uh, power smash. Not good. Can't last. I would really like a happy flower that replenishes my FP as well as my HP. I think there is one, but I haven't got it yet. Yeah, we don't have anything else that replenishes. 
Yeah, we'll just keep body slamming and stuff, that's fine. Mario's health is high enough that we should be able to hold out if we need to. Okay, no, we're good. Okay, regular hammer will do one damage. It would be better to jump actually, because a jump would do one, but then I could bounce again and get two damage. Yeah, doesn't matter. As you can see, we're doing fine. Well, I haven't managed to block that. <laughs> There we go. God, this could be the end. <laughs> 30 star points. Ah, bag. No, Magnus von Grapple, how could we lose? Herf, herf, herf. I remember this losers. I mean, you're the loser. Lord Crump summons us. Retreat, heads up, retreat, wait up. Oh. Good Mario's angry eyebrows. A rousing success, Mario. How delightful. They're gone. This place can go back to being the peaceful place I remember. All right there, Mario. You have the Emerald Star, the crystal star that resided in this tree. You got a crystal star, and you learned a special move, Clock Out. End of chapter. Yeah! <laughs> and so, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second crystal star. With the Exonauts gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the Great Tree. The Boggly Woods echoed with the puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last our hero hears from the vile Exnauts. They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. Save all game progress, yes please! Progress was saved. <laughs> Little Mario faces. What? Say that again. You can't get in touch with Lord Crump? You were correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. Yes, what is it? I have a report, sir. Crystal Star in the Bogley Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm, disturbing. This Mario character. What kind of... Speak up, x -Naught. What is the status of the other Crystal Stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other Crystal Stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew, we knew of three of them. Hooktail Castle, Ugly Woods, the one we got in Rogueport. That means there are four Crystal Stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir! As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Mario, I loathe you. Bit rude. Oh, Mario, did you even read the mail I sent you? I wonder. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I never dance at the mushroom ball again? What will become of me? Oh, little baby princess. We are now playing as Princess Peach again.
Oh, is this text doing again? Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. That mail I sent to Mario, did it reach him alright? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So, what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of gender? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? Excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd. When you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU will produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? Is there a reason behind such a feeling, Tech? Wanting to do something together? It's part of gender. I know it. <laughs> but then again, you are, well, a computer with genders. <laughs> Princess Peach. Please dance with me. Wait, wait just a minute. What what am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance? It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms or feet or moves. Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Oh, alright I guess. I must say, though, it's gonna feel weird dancing with myself. Press the buttons as they display on the screen. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun? Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? Heck, are you okay? Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. So, yeah, Tech just made a girl Sona to dance with Princess Peach. <laughs> You're a weird computer. Oh, look at her little smile. Oh. <laughs> no, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Peach. <laughs> Faithful game progress up to this point? Yeah, we can save that. I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowsette. We just got word that Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good, yes, very good. That I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. <laughs> My lord, you're so... super. <laughs> Ready to roll. Oh, oh, 
So this inspired um, Super Paper Mario. Basically, you get this little platforming segment playing. Whoa, uh, the widescreen doesn't seem to be working quite right. <laughs> um, hopefully, it'll uh, not continue to do that. But yeah, this is where the idea of Super Paper Mario came from. These sections between between chapters in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, where you basically do a platforming level while playing as Bowser. I'm having trouble controlling it, mostly because uh, of the weird flickering that's putting me off. I don't know why it's flickering that lot like that, but there you go. <laughs> oh, hey, welcome to Petalburg and... Eek! Hide, everybody, hide! Hmm, what a wuss. Yes, hi, chickens. I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowsette, over there. Bingo, Princess Peach. Man, that was easy. I found you, my princess. I, Bowsette, the mighty Cooper Queen, offer my greeting. Now, now, none of that silent treatment. You're coming to my castle with me. <laughs> Clearly she shall overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. How refined, how elegant, awesome. I suppose I could live with a silent princess. Might even have its perks, you know? No! My my life's treasure. I'd rather die than give up my life-sized peach poster. <laughs> poster? Oh my goodness me. Didn't see that coming. Great, just great. Now look like the huge mighty king of guys who talk to posters. <laughs> uh, I wasn't sure how to handle the genders there, so I just read the text directly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that's chapter two for you, and it's intermission. Next time, we'll probably be heading into chapter three. Uh, we're about to get out of this cutscene, I think. Uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son, now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love pontificating, so come on by whenever you want to sit and chat a while. Yes, please come back and visit. We'll, we'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with Crystal Stars. Well, this shan't be our last visit. Certainly not. But until then, a ta ta. See you, Mr. Mario. Okay, and that's chapter two done. I think that was a save block. There's one inside the tree. Uh, I could just go back into the tree to save, or I could have a bit of a look around here first. I believe we can just go back in and save. Yep, there you go. So yeah, um, that was the last part of chapter two, and the start of chapter three is about to happen. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, um, <laughs> sorry about the flickering there. Um, with the with the Bowsette sequence, I don't know what was up with that. I guess the um. The code I'm using for widescreen doesn't quite work in that situation. Weird. Uh, the rest of the game is fine, so 
I'm not gonna worry too much about it, but that part, not so much. <sighs> anyway, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs>